to vibration reading for the Libra and Sun Moon Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This week is the first week of October. The week begins from the first until the um seventh. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is your week because of the zodiac energy is here. Okay, the zodiac energy is here. Please remember that the full moon reading is coming out on the 15th of the month. The full moon reading will be in your box. Please subscribe to the channel. As you subscribe, you get your full moon reading directly. Okay, the extended reading is always on on demand, so um, you can choose. Um, to go for the extended reading on demand but the full moon reading is very good because um, the full moon reading comes after the two first week of the month this is something that is going to be continuing and you can listen to the full moon reading for the Aries uh, for the hair sign okay the air sign zodiac air sign that is a full moon reading for you guys now the problem is that um, there is absolutely no problem but um, um, if you have um, fire sign as uh, you have to find out what is your um, what is the sign that you have in your birth chart okay the Sun Moon horizon sign what is your moon sign in a birth chart and go and listen to that also okay so um, this week is the first week the week begins from the first until the seven um it begins from the first until the seventh um the energy is a, a fire energy is the chariot so whatever you decide to do in this week go ahead and do it and then we are going to be finding out what is going on remember to cross watch cross watch is very very good for you guys so let's see what's coming out in this week you have the energy of the lovers which is a wonderful energies that is coming out for you liberants so we're looking at the liberants for the first week of October you have uh, you have to make you already make a decision about a relationship um, this could be a soulmate relationship you already make a decision about your relationship or your marriage um, so um, and this is someone who you have known from a past lifetime um, you already is as if you make a decision whether or not you stay or you leave now whoever this person is it is the queen of one so some of you could be dealing with someone who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and this person is coming from a past life then you have the energy of the seven of Pentacles I know it was seven of Pentacles so you're working you're trying to work on um, a soulmate relationship or your marriage some of you are trying to work on a soulmate relationship or a marriage and you need to make a decision about this okay the devil comes up the devil has been coming up in the reverse okay um, this is a situation that is affecting you from a lifetime and lifetime so you're working on a past lifetime situation you're trying to resolve the situation with this person this person could be a mother or this person could come up as a partner in this week so whoever this person is could come could come up as a mother or a sister or someone this whoever this person is they're coming up in your reading okay um, what the energy that I'm seeing is that uh, the five of cups uh, um, is as if you have no regrets so it's as if you're thinking um, there is uh, nothing else uh, to do so um, you decided um, it's as if this marriage or this relationship has already ended okay that is how you're basically looking at it as if this marriage or relationship has already ended um, there is no need to try and resolve it because um, there is nothing to solve it some of you are in a relationship um, with a you're in a relationship with a um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person some of you could be married to this person a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person and it's as if um, you're trying to resolve the situation this person is your husband or wife you're trying to resolve the situation you have worked on it but you have come to a point where you need to make a decision about this person because uh, um, it's not fulfilling you okay anymore this relationship has come to an end it's as if 
whatever the karmatic situation and it has to be some of you as a um as a long la long lasting relationship some of you is your husband or wife okay and um you need to make a decision and it's as if you've made the decision but yet still you are thinking let me try and salvage this this there's nothing to salvage anymore okay it's as if um this person thinks you know he's he's looking back he he he's obviously this person is not having any regrets your partner is not having any regrets if you are with someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion he doesn't have any regrets he's looking forward he wants to move forward it's as if this has run its course this is how he's thinking this has run its course I'm not really looking back on this situation it's as if he realized that you know I I need to move forward in my life with something much better and I want happiness in my life it's as if you guys have really work hard you have built a relationship together you have built a marriage together and you decide um, you make a decision that you know I'm not regretting this I'm just letting it go we can the energy of the devil is in reverse there was a, a someone else it could have been um, a third party who came in this woman could be and um, a uh, there was a third party because whoever this person is um, you can see that this woman is from the past this woman is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay so let's see what is happening what is happening because some of you especially the married people the people who are married are in a long-term relationship you can see that you have been you have built this relationship but now um, you have made a decision and we're going to see what is the decision that you make. Okay, let's see what is the decision that they make about this relationship. Um, this relationship was built on um, financial stability. Okay, there was no love. Um, it was all about money in this relationship. This relationship was not a healthy relationship because this was all about money. It was all about what we had, um, what we could do how we could show off with it and that sort of a thing there was it was a relationship that was built on love and you're going to be deciding to move forward away from this relationship it's as if you realize that this person whoever your partner is um, wasn't in the relationship for love they were all in to see what they could have gotten out of this judgment a judgment call is going to be coming in okay information could be coming out breakthroughs information you could be receiving information about this person because this is someone who came back from a past life because the six of cups is always an energy of someone that comes back from a past life this could also be a family situation because obviously um, you guys who are married it's a family situation because what is happening here is that um, you're going to be receiving some information is going to be coming out okay some information is going to be coming out about this person whoever this person is um, your partner um, if he was having an affair if there was someone a third party because this is the energy of a third party we're not sure what is she going to be bringing to the table to this situation but obviously some information some judgment call is going to be coming out um, for two for um, either um, a partner of people who are married or people who are in long-term relationship this is a karmatic situation okay some information is going to be coming out secrets some breakthroughs are going to be coming out um, what is coming up here is that whoever this lady is um, your partner is going to be happy with her whoever this lady is um, your partner is going to be happy with her it's as if it's a soulmate whoever this lady is is a soulmate is your partner's soulmate and this is why um, he no longer or you no longer vibrate with each other it's because he has met his soulmate and he knows that it is his soulmate 
but the situation is that he's in a relationship he's married some of it some of um, some of them are married some of them are in a relationship but this woman cross part with him it is it is it could be an Aquarius woman or it could be a Gemini woman however this woman has cross part it was as if people sent him or her to connect with each other okay and he realized that this is his soulmate he knows he knows it's as if um because um people can want to mess you up and they will um send they will know who is your partner's soulmate and let them part cross or cross part this is a situation where someone out there there is a lady out there you can't blame this lady who came into your relationship and uh, you know it's not as if she's in the relationship it's as if she's crossed part with this person and because she has crossed apart they both know that um, is their opposite they both know that they're soulmate okay and no matter what you try to do and you try to work on it and and try to um, you know heal your marriage heal your relationship um, your partner um, even sometimes it's going to be okay it's good sometimes it's going to be bad um, but his heart will always want to know what has happened what has transpired because when he's with this person whatever it is he feels good he can be himself with this person why he can't be himself with you and um, and that's the thing that I'm trying to explain to a lot of people is that sometimes you get married to someone but if you don't know the connection with soulmates and that sort of a thing and twin flame um, and you are not soulmate and twin flame these people will automatically they they will come across their partners and they will come across their twin flame or soulmate partner and then you're gonna blame someone for crossing part with your partner but you can't blame this woman because it's as if when to when soulmate and twin flame meet each other they know right away it's as if their 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 art chakras their spirit and everything talks to each other now whoever this it, it is okay and I'm, I'm I'm all for you ladies I'm really all for you ladies but it's the truth it's the truth um, it's something that we weren't taught as kids um, we have never been taught about the twin flame and the soulmate and it is something that is more powerful than anything else and there is so many relationship that goes away because people are in um, happy marriages and that sort of a thing and all of a sudden they cross part with someone their soulmate on twin flame and then they realize that their world becomes aligned and for them it is um, if even they choose not to go with their twin flame and soulmate they are always going to be wondering what if I had and, and, and whoever this person is uh, you feel as if they want to ruin your life no this person basically don't want to ruin their life because this is someone who is I uh, understand that um, even though she have connected with her twin flame and soulmate it's not going to happen she's not even working on it because she knows that uh, um, this situation that is happening um, she doesn't want to ruin and this is how powerful the love is for twin flame and soulmate um, they will love their twin flame and soulmate but they will never want to mess their lives up that's how powerful the love is is that they will choose to live their rest of their life knowing that they have met this person and uh, accept that they have another life if it should happen they always find them if it should happens that um, their life split up they will always find each other it is something that the universe um, 
it's, it's the secrets of the universe how the universe work especially with the twin flame and the soulmate connection and because of this time on this planet um, this twin flame and soulmates are coming together and this is wonderful because they're crossing part with each other okay let's move on and let's look and see um, what is coming out with the devil and the um, energy of the eight of Pentacles what is coming out with the devil and the energy of the eight of Pentacles uh, the devil and the energy of the eight of Pentacles so now you're seeing a situation with this person and to be honest you ladies who are going through the situation um, um, this woman is not you know she she have respect and that is it she loves her soulmate enough to say I love you enough um and I am you know backing away um, from you and your family and this is exactly what this lady whoever she is is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius she knows and she understand that she has met her soulmate she know who's who he or she is and she understand that he's in another family but when they're together for whatever time they're together they feel so connected and so happy but yet still she understand and she's working with this person to understand that this person has another life this person have another relationship um, they have kids they have and and she wants him to be happy so it's not as if she is uh, um, um, connecting um, you know whatever the situation is is that this person is having respect and loving her soulmate or a twin flame enough to um, let him go so that he can continue what he is in okay but I'm seeing that you ladies have no regrets you have no regrets uh, about this relationship you have basically no regrets about this relationship it is a situation where um, your partner is saying hey I have no regrets that I've met this woman I have no regrets that I know who she is and how we connect and he he is in because if you look this is how it is he is he wants to move forward he wants um, you know he's stuck between you both he doesn't know what decision to make and um, you know you too if there is um, strong love you will survive this if there is really a genuine love you will survive this okay let's go on because I can go on for hours <sighs> there's a lot of conversation okay you and your partner are having a lot of conversation there's so much conversation he has some uh, he's not having any regrets about it there is so much conversation it's all about money there the love has left you guys it's all about money the ace of Pentacles there's a lot of conversation because it's as if he wants to move forward the love that has left this relationship it's only about money it's only about money and you know there's so many conversation so many quarrels you guys are trying to work this out and that sort of a thing um, there is a block um, for um, the soulmate relationship um, there is a block with the soulmate relationship um, whatever the situation is is uh, you could be the one who's doing the block because I know you ladies you're not giving up on your man that easy so some of you could be working negative energies but you know you shouldn't because um, you can't and this is it and this is where a lot of women um, use their you know it's as if you said you, you you think okay this is my man I'm married to him I have my kids and whatever and he's gonna be mine no um, you have to understand that no this you can't you don't own anyone you don't own your kids the only person you own is yourself this woman is looking forward this woman is someone who's building on her life this woman is someone who realized that I don't really need a man um, to make my life happy this is, woman is someone who um, she realized that okay I've met him I know I know that he exists but I you know it's not a situation that is okay and whatever the situation is some of you um, 
um, could be about to get in a business relationship with this lady and this is what you don't want um, he's speaking the truth he's uh, you're blocking this um, situation and you know I'm telling you the truth because there's going to be a solution for it whether or not you block your partner from being with their soulmate whether or not you block them because obviously there's a block and this block could be coming from you um, because you don't want to release him um, because you don't want them to be happy because you really don't want them to release and you don't want them to, to be happy you have no control over your partner you have absolutely no control over your partner and whatever you're doing you're creating karma for your own kids so be aware of what you do because right now you're blocking your partner to be with someone who he knows is his soulmate and someone who he wants to be with and you're blocking him because you're working some negative energies to block him um, and he was supposed to be working on a business situation with this person because that's how they could have met and you're blocking it but um, what you're doing is creating karma for your kids and you need to be aware of this this is serious um, what you're doing because um, you're trying to hold on on someone when the universe has sent um, their soulmate in and here is the children that comes up the only person who is going to be hurt is the kids okay the only person that is going to be hurt from this situation is the kids not you not your partner is your kids because obviously there is no more love there's the energy of love and that is just saying that um, it's your husband or wife but you are blocking the situation between you and this your partner and the soulmate that he have met or high whether you or she have met and you're blocking the progress but it's going to affect your kids whatever you do to um, your um, partner um, the third party it's going to come back on your kids so be aware of what you're doing be very aware of what you're doing okay because seriously um, for some of you what I'm looking is this, this woman is looking away this woman is someone who's building her own empire um, you know this she would want to have but she knows it's not viable with her soulmate and she's thinking okay um, all right um, I can see the truth about the situation it's not viable so I'm leaving this and I'm moving forward and I'm going to build my own empire I'm gonna be in my life okay this woman is a very hard-working woman she doesn't need someone to make her happy it's as if she understand she has respect and she love this person enough to give up this person so whatever you're doing you know it's not gonna work because um, if they were meant to be they were meant to be and if even um, they are 80 they will cross part again and it will happen so whatever you're trying to do what you're doing is creating karma for your own kids so ladies and gentlemen be aware whether you're a man or a woman and you're in this position be aware of what you're doing okay because your kids is going to be affected um, by what you're doing now okay I want to say namaste until next time cross watch it's gonna be good